Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another quick tutorial this is a fun video of Elementor and in this video I will show you how you can create this kind of energy ball animation effect using Elementor for this tutorial I am using the Elementor Pro version and little bit of HTML and CSS code this is a creative and fun thing we can create using Elementor and by applying this kind of fun effect to your website, we can take our website to a next level. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this kind of light ball effect. Or also, we can create this kind of circle or bubble effect. If you like to see this kind of valuable tutorial more, give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. Here I have enabled the container mode. So if you don't know how we can activate this container, go to dashboard and from Elementor. If I go to experiment and if I scroll down here is options flexbox container. By default this is not active. We have to activate it and finally save changes. And after that, if I open the Elementor Builder, here we will find the container flexbox options. Now, if I click on this add new container and I'm taking a random one, I'm taking the first one and taking the mean height to VH100. So it will take the screen size and I am also changing the background color to a dark color. From the style tab, background type, I am changing this color to black. And now click on this plus icon. And here I am taking the HTML elements. Taking this one. And here I need to add some HTML code and CSS code. For that I am going to my website. Here I have added all the HTML and CSS code step by step. I will leave this page link in my description so you can get it from there. First I am going to copy all this HTML and going to paste it. Here basically this is a div and I have added a class name with this div. And inside this here I have added span and some variable like color sizes and duration we can change the variable name and the same thing i have repeated four times and now going to advance scroll down here is the custom css options by the way this custom css options is only available on elementor pro version so if you still did not get elementor pro i will leave the elementor pro download link in my description so you can get it from there and after activating Elementor Pro, we will see these custom CSS options. Now go to my website and if I scroll down, here is all the CSS I have added. Going to copy first. And now paste it here. And boom, we can see here is showing a energy ball animation effect. I'm going to explaining all this code in a few moments. First, I'm going to positioning it in center. So, if I go to edit container and from layout items, I'm making it to justify content center. So, it's vertically center and align items horizontally center. And also, you can place this kind of effect with any text, with any section or anywhere you want. For now, I am only focusing on this effect, so I am placing it to a section and in a center position. Now, if I go to this HTML and first going to CSS code. So here, if we look all these CSS, if you know about some basic CSS, you can customize it very easily. Or if you don't know CSS, don't worry about this. Here I have added some variable. You can easily change all these values. Here I have added some filter with circles. If I hide the filter, we can see here is several circles. And all these circles is coming from the span tags. If I check the HTML, 
here is span 1 2 3 4 so here is four circle basically and all the circle is working for each of the span if i want to increase the number of balls we can add more span so now here is five bubbles and here if i want to change the color for example the new one here is the color i'm changing it to the red color so we can see here is a new bubbles added in red color it's the behind and also here is the size so i have added these 20 pixel or extra sizes with each of the bubbles and also with the rotation dimension and finally this is the duration for this moving animation so i have added different animation time and different sizes and also different colors with each of the circles and now if i go to advanced and if i check the css so here is the sizes for each of the circle i have added 300 and some extra sizes so if we want to change the size to 100 so we can see the size is decreases for now i'm going back to 300 and also the blur number i have removed it from here and we can change the blur effect from here for now here is 30 pixel we can make it to zero or you can add only 10 pixel or 15 pixel for now i'm making it to zero and this is the 100 pixel so it's the transform origin so here is the rotation distance from origin location and finally here i have added a animation so it's rotating from 0 degree to 360 degree and also for even number of circles i have added the animation from reverse direction so you can easily customize all these css from here or we just need to change the size blur number and the distance for rotation and also when we need to change the colors animation duration and the sizes we can also do it from html for each of the circles finally i'm going to add some blur effect with these circles i'm adding 10 pixel or finally 30 so this time it's working like a energy ball or like a bulb effect finally i'm going to saving our page now if i hide the panel and this is the final result so that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video